guys, this is Luke Crawford, and today I'm going to be going over whether or not the Gear S2 is still worth it after a little over a year since its original release date. First things first, usually electronic devices, after they become older, they either become thick, or the design is out of date, or they slow down. So we're going to go over all three of those things and see if this device is still speedy and thin enough to compete with newer smartwatches. The design. This watch is fairly thick, but of course this is the cellular version, so if you get the non-cellular version, then it is quite thin. So in terms of thickness, this device is still very solid. The design, of course, it let me type my passcode in. It is still very nice to have this rotating bezel. It's still very fluid after being used. It doesn't get any like stickiness or anything like that. So in that aspect, this device is still holding up cosmetically. There is one uh, scuff on the rotating bezel, but that's not too bad. The software usually goes out of date. So, on this watch, it still runs um, the latest version of Tizen OS, and in fact, it just recently got an update so that it allows it to have every single feature of the Gear S3. So in software terms, this watch is still very up-to-date. It is running Tizen OS version 2.3.1.1. Don't know why they name it that long of numbers, but apparently they like to have a lot of numbers in their versions. Um, this device has a half gig of RAM and four gigs of inter internal storage, which is still on par with most smartwatches. They've started at a maybe a gig of RAM, but half gig of RAM is still plenty for a smartwatch. One thing that some smartwatches do not have, like a lot of the Android ones and obviously the Apple Watch, do not have is cellular capabilities. So you just hop into settings, scroll down to connections, and then you have Bluetooth, and then also you have mobile networks. I don't have a SIM card in this, and it's not activated, so I can't show that off right now, but that's that. Um, and then also, there is no GPS in most smartwatches. Whereas if you get the cellular version, you also get GPS capabilities which is very nice for doing bike rides or running, and it keeps the precision to a very, very accurate. Um, I can show you in S Health, if it will show anyway. There is a 20 minute bike ride. should be able to view this. And then it shows all the settings. So you can, you can auto pause, you can make it so you can use your location which would be GPS, or you can set it so it just kind of estimates it by motion, how the Apple Watch first edition did. And then you can set a target to how far you want to go. So, in that terms, software is very up to date. If anything, it's mo better than pretty much any smartwatch there is. Currently, all Android Wear smartwatches are still stuck on 1.5, waiting for an update to Android Wear 2.0. The Apple Watch, um, I think so, is still still up to date, but uh, one thing that this watch does not have, compared to a lot of older smartwatches, is lag. When you're speeding through menus, it's just buttery smooth. There's no, no stutter, no slowness. When you open an app, it just opens, and there's just pure buttery smooth animations. Going, if you go like open an app, opens very quickly. Now, as you can see, it's even running quickly with this many different apps open. So the RAM management is pretty good on this watch, and you can just easily go back to an app, like you go to flashlight and it immediately goes back to it, so it's still held in the RAM. One thing that this watch did get updated to, but not completely, is by holding down the back button, you get Samsung Pay. 
So Samsung Pay is somewhat supported on this. And how I mean by that is on the Gear S3, there is um, a mag magnetic strip uh, simulator so that it can basically work with any uh, credit card reader that you don't have to insert the card into. Instead, the swipe ones, you can just set the watch right up next to that and it'll work no matter what. This one requires NFC, so that's a, the disadvantage to this. But otherwise, this watch has pretty much all the features of the newer watches. Don't ask me why that won't focus, but hopefully that app because we're done with that. And I believe that's all we uh, need to cover. Well, there is one more thing actually. Um, battery life. As battery life goes, this watch still easily lasts a day, maybe a day and a half, if you're really careful, maybe two days. It's not the best of battery life, but still very on par with the Gear S3 or the latest Apple Watch or devices like that. Whole video. Still worth it. I would say most definitely. Right now on eBay, you can buy this smartwatch for $45. That's how much I paid. I paid $40 for this watch. So for $40, you get a very, very nice watch. Of course, if you want to buy a brand new $130 for the non-cellular and then $180 for the cellular version. So if you want to go brand new, it's still a pretty good deal compared to other watches for sure. Description to the eBay listing, I believe they have like 20 of them left. So if you want to get one for $45, you can get one. Like and subscribe if you liked this content, and I'll see you in the next video.